different from a Nike? What makes you different from a Starbucks, from a Chick-fil-A? What makes you different from these multi-million dollar companies, right? And really the only two things I'll tell you that makes you different from these folks is your age and your bank account. You have habits of, you know, not showing up to class, uh, not turning in work, not handling your responsibilities or chores at home, uh, not preparing for tests or quizzes, then what you carry over into a man or a woman is you carry over the habits of not showing up to work, not being prepared for work, not showing up to work on, up on time, right? Not handling your responsibilities as a man, a woman, as a husband, a wife, as a father and mother. And so you become an unproductive contributor to society. That becomes the brain you build for yourself. Brand, it doesn't just happen, right? So being a great man or woman, uh, having the habits of a great man or woman, they don't just have it, don't happen, all right? You create them over time. They understand that nobody is bigger than their brand or their company. And the problem with some of us is we don't value our brand enough, we don't value ourselves enough to tell some people that they gotta go. And the thing is, you must value your brand enough to be able to tell anybody that doesn't represent the direction your brand is going, that they can no longer be attached to you in any kind of way. They can no longer be connected to you. Most of the time when people end up in trouble or they get caught in something, they're, 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 their thoughts before making the decision, they're not thinking about, you know, hey, what could this cost me, right? What kind of damage is this gonna do to the people around me or even to myself? And when you have a brand to protect, you cannot afford to not have clear direction. You cannot afford to, to not have a purpose. You cannot afford to operate in a manner where you move to the beat of those around you or to the beat of this world. You must give yourself clear direction. And here's what clear direction does. Clear direction, it allows you to have boundaries. Having boundaries is what helps us to evaluate the people in our life, right? The who and what represents us. And it allows us to properly evaluate the choices that we make set long-term goals, you must set goals for the month, you must set goals for the week, and even goals for every single day. Guys, I want you to understand that you should never wake up and not have clear direction on what you are accomplishing. Understanding that you are a brand is, is vital, guys. And, and when I use the word vital, if you if you understand what vital means, it, it's it, that means it's important to your life. You have to make your brand important to you. You must value your brand before anybody else will. Nobody who's going to rep you better than you. And I need you guys to remember this last thing, guys, is that excellence is a habit. And so you must rep your brand right.